welcome back to my kitchen. So today I am bringing you a new iDo system. This is the latest model um, from iDo and it is their indoor LED hydroponic system. This one is model number IG303. So this is the latest version. I don't know much about this one. Um, I have to say though that I am excited about how they have returned to kind of the classic style of iDo. Um, if you guys have watched some of my other videos, I have um, done reviews and unboxings of two other systems thus far, and um, this style is my favorite style. If you guys are new here, my name is Brittany, also known as The Mythical Mom, and I do all kinds of unboxing and assembly and review videos. I also do gardening and DIY projects and all kinds of things. If that interests you guys, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you join us. So we are going to get into this I Do Today, the new model, super exciting and we are going to unbox it, we're going to assemble it, and then I'm gonna tell you kind of my overall thoughts, um, just first impressions. And I wanna kind of make that clear, is that this is just obviously my first impression. I've never used these systems before when I first make these unboxings. When I open this box, it's for the first time that I'm opening it with you. So um, I have had an opportunity to use several different systems now, a couple of I do's, a couple of other brands. Um, and so when I do these unboxings, I want to show you exactly how to set them up and things like that. But I also am giving you my first initial opinion um, and my first initial reaction to them. And as time goes on, I kind of learn certain things about the different systems, kind of things I like about them, um, things that are challenging or that I would change about it. Um, and so I will continue to do videos on them. I do like cleaning videos and update videos and things like that. So if you guys really are interested in this product, I would encourage you to check it out for yourself and also keep an eye out for those follow-up videos where I kind of dive into it a little more and tell you my opinion of what the system really works, how the system really works, um, if there's any pros or cons to it and things like that after I've had some time to really use the system. And as with all of my unboxing videos, if you guys like the product that I am showing you today, there will be a link in the description below. Um, along with, I'm going to link um, the other systems that I have reviewed because I think if you're in the market for something like this, it would be nice to kind of see the different systems and what all they offer. Um, so I did a seven pod I do, which was the first one I ever reviewed. I reviewed a 12 pod system. Um, I reviewed another brand. And then today's is a 10 pod system. And like I said, it kind of goes back to the traditional seven pod style, which is my favorite style. I think they work the best for me personally. So this is the packaging, pretty simple. Um, let's go ahead and get into this thing. Okay, so we open her up here and this is what we see. So we have our uh, user manual and then we have our system, which let me go ahead and get this pulled out. Okay, so everything out of the box and we have packaging to keep everything safe. Um, this up top here is our LED light bar. Um, there's some controls on here that says power, water, vegetables, fruit, and flowers, which is pretty standard for most of these. Those are the same buttons you'll see on most of your systems. Um, here is our base. So this is what she looks like. It has the window in the front, which I really like that. That is an upgrade from um, the original I do that I did anyway. I don't know if it's the like original original but the original one that I reviewed um, it has a window here in the front which is really nice you can see and monitor the water levels really easily which is something that's important whenever you have a hydroponic system is making sure that your water level stays consistent so we pop off the top tray here there are the ten holes that we're going to be um, planting in here in a few minutes 
Um, inside here, let me just show you this. This guy is packed with all kinds of goodies. And here we have some plant tags. Here are some um, covers. These cover ooh, any holes that you are not using so that no mold or anything like that will grow. Um, here are the little greenhouse hat things, which we'll get into all this later. These are the plugs. These are the soil sponges. Two bags of soil sponges. We'll break this all down here in a minute. Um, let me see what's in this little box. This has to be our plug or something, I think. Let's see. Yep. And here is our plug. There's another box. Um, in the other box, we have our plant food. Very important. And in here, we have our... Um, posts that hold our light bar on and it connects the base to that light bar. Oh my goodness, what kind of tape do they use? A oh no, not another one. Okay, oh, oh, got it. Okay, so there's our light bar. So far looking at this system and unboxing it, I feel like they took some of the best um, components of the previous systems that I've used and kind of combine them into this one, which really excites me. I'm, that makes me happy. I'm excited to see how this one works. I think best of both wor worlds in this one. So that's exciting. Um, so let me show you how you're going to set this system up. Okay. So our extending bar here just fits in this hole in the back of the system right there. Um, your little, there's like a little, um, like knobby thing. I don't know what to call it. Um, on one side of your bar, you're going to stick that towards the back and push it into the system until you hear a click or a doll dud, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, then this part, our light bar is going to sit up on top and it simply just snaps into place on top like that. Now, um, before we do any more assembly, I want to show you, this is how you are going to raise and lower your, um, your light, okay? So there is a twisty knob at the back. You're not supposed to twist it off all the way. There's a twisty knob at the back of your bar here, which you loosen that and you can raise and lower the, um, the light bar, which is really handy when things start to grow. So you get this to your desired height. You would just twist this back in until it is nice and tight. And then it will stay there. Before we get too much further into assembling this and getting it ready to grow things, I wanted to just show you inside the system here, this little box here with this little knob on top, that is your water pump. Okay, so that right there, that is what circulates the water down inside of your system, which is very important. You want to make sure that the water is being consistently cycled and filtered, which is what that little pump down there does. Um, I will do a cleaning um, video on how to clean this one in a couple of weeks. Um, it, they suggest that you clean your I do system every four to six weeks. So I'll probably do three or four weeks. That way I can get a video out for you sooner, um, but not waste the nutrients and stuff in here that I'm putting in today. But when you do clean that, you want to make sure that you clean that pump because it's important that it stays running and properly functioning. So from there, we can go ahead and put our, um, our top plate back on there and it just sits right on top. Um, then we are going to go ahead and open up um, our little baskets. I guess that's what you can call them. So this is what they look like. They're just little like plastic baskets and they fit right down inside the holes in the top of your system. So let's go ahead and put all of those in. 
I like how long these are. I really like that. Nice long ones tend, oh, geez Louise. Nice long ones tend to hold a lot more moisture and things just do a lot better when you have nice long things like this. So that's, I like that. I like to see that. Okay, after that, we are going to go ahead and open up our soil sponges. So these are what these soil sponges look like. And they are going to sit right down inside those baskets. So our baskets are right there. We're just gonna pop a soil sponge into each one of those. And the system comes with um, 10 initial soil sponges and then comes with another pack of 10, which is really nice. So you'll be able to use these and then when you're ready to refresh and start a new crop of something in here, you'll have 10 more ready to go already where you don't have to buy them yet. Um, let's go over what these other things are quickly before we finish setting up. So these right here are little um, plastic domes. I hope you guys can see these. Um, and they are little tiny greenhouses, essentially, that fit right on top of each one of your um, soil sponges. And after we plant our seeds and things like that, and we have all of our systems set up and ready to go, you will place these on top of your soil sponges and um, these will help your seeds to germinate really quickly and um, just makes a nice moist environment for the seeds to come up in, which is great. After your seeds come up and are about to touch the top of your um, little greenhouse, that's when I remove mine. You don't want your leaves touching this because then they can burn and have some sort of issue. So we're going to set these aside for later. Um, this right here is our caps. So these little black things here are little caps that you can put on um, a place where you are not using a hole in your system. So say you don't have anything planted in this space right here, instead of just leaving it open, you're going to go ahead and put one of those black caps on it. And that way no light is really reaching into the system. And because that can cause all kinds of algae and fungus issues if that's happening. Today though, we are going to go ahead and plant up every single one of these. So I will not be using these today. As I harvest things out of here, um, and if I'm not ready to plant anything back in it right away, I will go ahead and use these caps at that point. Also, in that bag is this little um, rubber, I guess it's rubber, this little rubber stopper. I hope you guys can see that, it's super tiny. So this is actually an extra. Let me show you. On the back of your system right here is a little drain plug, which is amazing. I love that. Um, so typically in some of my other systems, I had to kind of dump the water out over the top and that is not always um, the best thing to do, shall we say. Um, so here is a little drain that you can actually drain the water out when you're ready to clean your system or change out the water, whatever. So here is where that little plug goes. Your system should already have one in it and then they send you a little extra one in case you lose it as well, which is really nice. Lastly, in this last bag, they have some plant tags which are pretty self-explanatory and every system that I've bought so far has come with these. Okay, before we go any further, we need to prep our nutrients for the system. So these are very important. There is an A and a B nutrient solution, solution, and you need both of these in the water of your system. This is what is going to feed your plants whenever they are in this water system. So unlike something like an aquaponics where you're using a fish or something like that to um, bring nutrients to the water, there is nothing in this. This is just straight water. So we need nutrients consistently in the water to make those things grow and to be healthy. So um, to prep these is really quite simple. All you are going to do is remove the cap 
fill these both up with water to the top of the bottle. Shake them up until you don't hear anything in there really um, rattling around anymore. Um, sometimes you have to put water in, let it like shake it up for a while, let it sit, shake it up some more because it takes a little bit for them to dissolve. But let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to throw some water in these and then shake them up. So the next step in setting up our system here is to go ahead and fill it up with water and the nutrient solution. So our book here suggests that our system can hold 4.5 liters of water, which is about uh, 16, 18 cups of water. So into our liter of water that we have sitting here, we need to add five milliliters of each A and B solution. Now in total, you are going to be adding four and a half liters of water into the system. And that's going to equal out to roughly 22.5 milliliters of both solutions. Now, instead of trying to figure all of that out, um, I end up just doing it one liter at a time because I don't know, it just seems the simplest to me. Now to measure out the nutrients as you put it into your water, there are little measuring cups on the caps of the nutrient bottles, which is really helpful. We can just go ahead and measure five milliliters of B and put it in our water and five milliliters of solution A and put it in our water. Then we can mix it up. I'm just going to use a spoon. And then we can go ahead and pour this into our system. Now we're going to have to do this four and a half times. So bear with me. To pour this into our system, there is a little hole over here that looks a lot like where we put our baskets and our soil pods, but it's like really close to two of them. This is where you fill up your water. There's also a place down on the bottom of this where you can't put your, um, your basket down into because it says the max fill line for this system. So as we fill our water, we're going to be paying attention to that max fill line. And of course you can pay attention to the max fill line on the front of the machine and making sure that we get it filled up nice and full. So when you are adding water into your system, you're going to go ahead and fill it up through this water line. Oh my goodness. There we go. It's not a mythical mom video if I'm not making a mess somewhere. And we are just going to do this three and a half more times. Okay, for this last one, I am just going to fill this up to about two and a half milliliters because we are only doing a half of a liter for the last one. So about two and a half, 2.5 liters. Really just eyeballing it because it's so small that you can just eyeball it. All right, there we go. So our system is all filled up with water. Um, the soil sponges kind of like to dance around in there as they start to soak up the water. I like to make sure that mine stay pushed down in because sometimes as they, as they start to soak up that water, they like to like push themselves up out of the baskets and you want to make sure that they stay down in nice contact with that water and don't pop up above the sur surface. Um, so I just like to go ahead and give mine a little push down as they start to expand and swell up, which they will as they start to draw up the water from the system. So as you can see here from the front, we are at four and a half milliliters or liters, four and a half liters of water. So we are nice and full. Now it is time to go ahead and plug in our system. I am going to go ahead and pull our light 
far off the top just so I can show you where to plug these cords in. Um, it's a little tricky to show you when you can't see what I'm talking about. The cord over here on this side that is attached to um, the system is going to go straight up and it's going to plug into um, this hole right here. I hope you guys can see that. Um, there are four holes on each side. There you go. There are four holes on each side. The inner two holes are where things plug in. So this one is going to plug into this side, right like that. And then your power cord is going to plug into this one right here on the other side, just like that, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and set mine back up on top. Okay, and now we are all set up and we are ready to plug it in and see if she works. So let's go ahead and plug her in. They usually beep, sometimes they flash a light. Ooh, look at that, she kicked right on. Okay, so I just plugged it in, I didn't push any buttons, she kicked on right by herself and I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but the pump is already running as well. Um, this is going great. I have a couple of different things that I'm excited to plant in this one today. Um, first thing that I'm going to plant is kind of outside of the box and not really what you'd probably think about planting in something like this, but I've planted a lot of vegetables and things like that in here, a lot of herbs and um, lettuces and tomatoes. I've tried strawberries in here which my tomatoes and strawberries, to be in complete fairness, didn't turn out at all because my cats ended up eating them. Um, but they were, they were growing, I don't know. Anyway, today I'm going to be putting a few marigold seeds in here. Um, it is November and things are frozen outside. We've had quite a few frosts already. And I thought it might be nice to just pop in a flower. So I'm going to be planting a marigold today, at least in one of the holes. I'm not sure how many. I'm going to be planting some basil. Um, these seeds here are from Proven Winners, which I will link below. I have some uh, pesto basil and a good hearted tomato. Now these good hearted tomatoes are a dwarf variety. They don't get very big at all. Let me see if it says. 18 to 24 inches tall and wide, I guess. So not a very big tomato at all. And that's why I can plant something like that in here. You cannot plant regular tomatoes. They're way too big. It will not work. Don't even try. Um, <laughs> I usually encourage you guys to try stuff like that, but not in this case. You definitely want to use a dwarf style tomato. And then I'm going to be planting some cilantro because I love cilantro. Um, I love basil. I love to have them all year round, so I'm going to go ahead and plant those. And I'm going to be planting some red romaine lettuce. Now, in this mix that I'm planting today, I have a mix of uh, different things, different colors, different textures, different foods. Um, marigolds are technically edible as well, so I guess they kind of fit. Um, but I kind of was thinking about that as I was setting this system up today. This is something that sits out on my counter all the time. Anyone who comes into my home sees it. And so I thought it would be a really pretty blend to have the red lettuce with the green, um, basil and cilantro with the red tomatoes. And then of course a little pop of marigolds. So I don't know, it's kind of being artsy with it today, I guess, and thinking about what it would look like. So we are going to go ahead and get these seeds planted. So I'm going to go ahead and place my marigold seeds here. I have four of them in this far side, and I'm just going to drop them down inside that hole, kind of push them down a little bit. These are a little bit taller seeds. Most of the seeds that you have are a little more narrow, um, small little circles or whatever. Um, so we'll just push them down in like that. That should be fine. Next, I am going to plant some of my red romaine lettuce. Here are some of my red romaine lettuce seeds. I think I'm going to pop these more in the center. So I'll pop those down inside there and some inside that one there. Then I'm going to go ahead and plant my pesto basil. 
which this pesto basil that I have here from Proven Winners, I had this in my last grow light system that I did and it is amazing. It did really well. I'm going to go ahead and plant these in the back two um, spaces because this basil gets quite tall. I'm just going to pop them in there. Then over the other side over here, the opposite side, I'm going to plant some cilantro. So I'm just going to pop two of these seeds down inside here. There we go. And I thought it would be pretty to have our tomatoes coming out the front three. So I'm going to go ahead and plant those up there, hoping that my cats stay out of these this time and we have good success with them. I'm just going to put two in each because I don't have very many of these seeds left. I was able to do three in each actually. Had more than I thought. There we go. Now, as you can see, some of these sponges are not fully saturated yet. They're kind of still wiggling around in there. And you just want to make sure that you're keeping them pressed down. If you come out and you notice that they're really sticking up out of the um, basket, you just want to push it back down in. As they sit in this water, they'll just continue to get bigger and bigger and soak up the water. Now that we have our seeds in there, we can go ahead and put our greenhouse tops on here. And like I had said earlier, these help to keep the humidity and the temperature right for your seeds and it just helps them to germinate a lot faster. As your seeds start to germinate and grow, um, you want to make sure that you remove these before the leaves really start touching this plastic because they can burn. Um, so once your things are up and growing, you can go ahead and remove them and just let it continue to grow without them. The next thing I want to tell you guys about are the buttons that are up here at the top of your system. We have a power button, water, vegetables, and... Oh, uh, flowers and fruits. So today we kind of have a mix of flowers and vegetables, but we mostly have vegetables. So that's what I'm going to run the system on. You can go ahead and push the power button when you want your system to turn on and automatically it's going to default to the water cycle, which runs your pump down below and the vegetable setting. If you want to change to have more flowers and fruit, you can go ahead and hit this button and it'll change it. Um, really all this affects is the different light settings that the system is using. So this bot button right here, our water button, when you turn your system on, it is automatically set to run the pump for every 30 minutes and then shut off for 30 minutes and turn back on for 30 minutes. It will do this by itself consistently. There's no need to go ahead and touch it or turn it on or turn it off. If you do want to turn the system off, your pump off, you can but I would suggest just leaving it on because it's set to exactly what your system needs. This system also has a great user manual that tells you all about the setup, all about the different features and functions, all about what the buttons do, um, which I kind of already broke it all down for you, but if you need more help, this is a great resource. They also have tips and tricks to help you grow your own produce, um, to give you good success with what you are doing. Um, it also has troubleshooting and just all kinds of good information. So make sure you check this out in your box. And if you guys do like this system and you would like to learn more about it, go ahead and check out that link in the description below. I do was nice enough to send you guys a discount code. So make sure you use that. That is in the description below as well. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, one more thing. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments of this video below. Any questions about this system or hydroponic systems in general. Um, I tend to get a lot of questions about these systems after I do unboxings and things like that. So if you have a question, go ahead and put it in the comment section below and I'm going to do a Q&A video um, addressing some of those questions. I think it could be fun. I also want to directly answer you guys. Sometimes I can't always get to all of the comments or I don't, I'm not able to like answer your 
question as well as I'd like to because sometimes it's like I like to show you more than just trying to tell you about it. Um, so if you have any questions, drop them in the box below. I'll make a fun Q&A video and answer all those questions. And yeah, I think it should be fun. We'll see. I'll shout you guys out and your questions and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.